I'll just say a, uh, a few things because we <clears throat> you'll be able to see us this Saturday versus, uh, versus Georgia State um, at noon, which is a good opportunity for for both programs, but really for us, we, we need games. Um, and, and so it's good for us, but most importantly, it's an opportunity to, you know, for the hurricane relief on Saturday for whether it's Puerto Rico or, uh, Florida or Houston. So, um, you know, it's a, it's a great opportunity for fans and for the city and, and, um, and, uh, and it's obviously for a good, for a good cause. Uh, we're, we're, we've got a long way to go. Um, I remind everybody last year that we, our first exhibition game, we ended up having to go to overtime, and to, to and we were fortunate enough to win that. Should have probably lost the game, but we got better as the year went on, and um, and we're probably in the same boat this year. We're, we've got a long way to go. We're not, you know, we we've got a lot of work to do. And and it'd be, it'd be me going to my ninth year as a head coach, uh, the teams that I've coached, it's always seemed like that we maybe struggled from the beginning for whatever reason, but we've gotten better as the years. As progressed, and and I, um, you know, feel that will be the same thing this year. I, you know, we're relying on a lot of, you know, new guys who don't understand the level of intensity that that we're demanding from them, and um, and so uh, game experience and everything else is just going to take some time, and it's going to be trial by fire, and so we'll get there i'm excited about this group i really like our guys we got good guys you're just going to you know take some time for us to really gel um, um i've said it many times um you know uh, we still this is a major rebuild that we took over it's going to take some time we're not out of the woods we're, we're not out of the woods yet and um we could have we could be better than we were last year but not win as much i mean we had some great wins last year great wins uh, so, you know, it's just one of those things we'll have to see. We're kind of a game-by-game, game, possession-by-possession team. Uh, I know people are going to be tired of me hearing it, but nothing's changed with our margin for error. It's still zero. We don't, we don't have enough. We're not in a position where we can overwhelm anybody. And if, we don't, if we're not violently cutting in our cutting and playing just unbelievable defense and winning every 50-50 ball, it's going to be real hard for us. So we have to be perfect in those areas. Coach, was this a regularly scheduled scrimmage? And, and also, how did it, the whole genesis come about of making it a fundraiser for uh, hurricane relief? Yeah, no, the Georgia State was not regularly scheduled. The, uh, um, Ron Hunter's on the, uh, you know, he's, he's on the board of the NABC. And, uh, and then it came, I got an email at some point from a, from a team, from a Division II team, saying, would we want to play them in a, in a, in a um, scrimmage? Or an exhibition, and you're allowed to based on the if as long as the proceeds go to you know hurricane relief, and uh, so I wasn't aware of it. And then Ron Hunter called me and said, "Hey, you know, would you like to play? You know, da da da." And and uh, and so I, obviously I brought everything to our administration, and they wanted to play Georgia State. They thought it'd be a good thing for, for um, you know, just for the city. Um, I, and and you know I thought it was going to be good for us because they're going to they're going to play zone the entire game, and we need that. Like we, it's it's important for us. I think it gives us a great opportunity to play against a team that zones to see what we can do. And, um, you know, you don't get that many opportunities to do that where you're playing as someone that plays zone the entire game. And so that will be good for us. And, and it's a really good zone, really good zone. So, I mean, you know, I mean, they might kick our butt. I, you know, I don't know. I mean, they, they might be far ahead and more ready than we are right at this stage. Uh, we, we've got a long, long way to go. Um, <clears throat> and so, you know, fortunately, we don't play a countable game for a few more weeks. But if we had a countable game tomorrow, we're not ready to play. So that's why the game Saturday will be good for us. And, um, you know, we're going to – it'll be good for us to see some different looks. And and we're, we're far from being where we need to be. we got a long way to go. Yeah, the hur- – well, it, all, the game is, is allowed as all proceeds go to the hurricane relief. So we thought it was a great thing for the city. Student tickets are $5. The – General mission twenty dollars. There's no like recruiting tickets, so you know if a recruit or a high school coach or a, you know grassroots co- coach wants to come, like there is no like normal game where we're able to give a comp ticket or a recruiting ticket to to one of those. Uh, we're going, you know, it's just straight, you know, hurricane relief. So no freebies in a sense this game, other than maybe the normal that we'd give Georgia State and the normal for our, our staff's families and the players. And that's it. 
prospect of raising funds for hurricane victims mean any more to you because you've got some family in Texas and I think the Houston area is yeah specific. well no I mean Florida I mean or, or Houston I mean I've had so many people down there that you know in Kingwood it got hit hard I mean uh my well my parents place got wiped out their cars place got wiped out um and, I mean it was gone um and for my mom you know for her I mean all like her you know the baby pictures of all of her kids and everything gone you know and I mean she had all that stuff saved but the water wiped it out um and then like in I, re, I, re, I had some of my high school buddies were telling me in Kingwood there like you know up and down Kingwood Drive which is kind of the main street sort of like Peachtree Street it, it was just like a it was boats going down you know because it was the Coast Guard and people coming down and just kind of a crazy scene so no I think it's 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 you know it's a um obviously it's closer to me because you know my family got hit by it but just that Houston and, and 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 I know that city well and and some of the areas that got that got rocked you know I mean for people I mean it's it's devastating and 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 maybe they don't even have the financial means to to recover out of it you know because it just it's just devastating and you know you think about it people work their whole you know you you you, you go to work you work and, and hard and you get a home you buy a home at your house at your sanctuary I mean that's and then for it to be just you know wiped away for anybody in that situation you know it's a uh, you know, it's 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 a bad thing. So I think everyone's trying to come together and 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 help. The issue is is it wasn't just that Florida got hit really hard, and obviously Puerto Rico. So it was kind of back to back to back on three different things. And um, and so I'm glad the NC2A has allowed this to to raise money for for the hurricane relief for any of those areas, not just Houston, but also Florida and Puerto Rico. Last season, you made a big focus on getting the student body involved and in coming yep. to the games. Do you expect to see that change with the success that you guys had last season? Yeah, I, 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 I haven't changed my tune on trying to go out and and uh, um, speak to as many groups as I've I've can. I mean, Moose knows I've I haven't turned down an interview request, as any of you all know. I mean, I, you, I'm on everybody or anywhere, anytime anyone's had me speak. I've literally haven't said maybe a couple times I've had to say no just because of schedule, but I've literally have tried to go out to every group con because I know we had good momentum. You know, I'm at least the ACC coach of the year until the start of the season. So, you know, you might as well go utilize that, you know, so take advantage of that. We had we had a lot of good, you know, people telling us how good we are and how good of the year. I've been on the reverse end, end of it. So I'm like, let's take advantage of it and get all we can out of it. And, you know, and because I've been on the other side. I mean, it's amazing how in sports I was telling this to Moose earlier. I mean, how things can change in a hurry. I, I Memphis, they're ready to get me out. And then all of a sudden I'm the ACC coach of the year. I saw in the paper today, I mean, Dan Quinn was the, I mean, they'd leave him the Super Bowl and they were on, I heard people today talking about the Falcons, I mean, upset about that. I mean, Kirby Smart at Georgia a year ago, I was reading things was unbelievable. And then this year, I mean, sports, how things change. So to that perspective, no one knows that better than I do. So I'm like, let's take advantage of the preseason. So um, I spoke all over the place as much as I've been able to. And that includes the student body. I've speak, spoken to all the different groups, any student bodies asked me to speak. I've wanted to do it. I think it's important. The reason, look, this is, a, I mean, everybody knows how hard this league is. It's, it's, it's nearly impossible, this league. It's, and and our, our best advantage is our home court. Why we won 17 games last year is strictly because of the, of the home court advantage. And we have to somehow, for us to give us any chance, we've got to keep the home court advantage for us to be able to, win games we've got to protect home court and that student section and the fan base gives us that I mean because that that place is loud in there and I mean I and I've said it many times we only beat Syracuse because of the fan student section they they I forget the kid's name but they literally screwed his game up on that game you know and then obviously we go up to Syracuse and the two guys combined like 70 points against us but at our place they couldn't score and it was they they just the student section was so loud and uh, so we've got to continue to have that and um, that's important to me to continue to involve the students and and uh, through with Phil and, and Simmet and I will come up with some different marketing ideas that we can come up with this year to um, Phil Lewicki who does his marketing for us um, uh, what we can do with different things ideas um, and so and how we can keep the students engaged because it's very very important for us but I've tried again to be as out as much as possible I mean I've rarely said no to anybody you know to be able to get the message out I asked this sort of tongue-in-cheek but actually I'm, I'm, I 
would like your uh, an answer. Like, when will you be out of the woods? Is it a certain benchmark, or is it kind no, of you'll I mean, know? No, I mean, it's a fair question, and 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 you're going to hear me say we're not out of the woods a lot this year. So, um, um, it, it's a fair question. When are we out of the woods? He, all I know is Mike Lubinsky gave me a six year contract and said, you know, by year year four you need to be in, hopefully in the NIT. Year five close to making the tournament and by year six be in the tournament so you know that well, that was the projection because that's what we took over it was going to be a six-year that's why i got a six-year contract he figured by year six we're going to be in the nc2a tournament that was that's what my objective very clear objective so out of the woods i don't know i mean um the 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 um mindset is to be relevant you want to be be in the tournament you want to be competing for that i mean I mean, does it happen every year? I don't know. I and mean, there's going to be some highs and lows, obviously. But um, you want to put yourself in that position, and it's hard to do. And you got to get a little lucky along the way, and we got to catch some breaks, and we got to we've got to catch some breaks in recruiting. Ken, that includes some of the guys that we've signed that who we think are going to be good actually turn out better than we think, and through our development, you know, all that. So, um, um, you know, they I got my year back. So you have six years, but um, I understand the mission at Georgia Tech. I mean, and what they want, and it's going to take some time. I mean, we, even though we had a great year last year and we overachieved, you know, we still are in year two of where we're trying to rebuild to get it to where it, at the time when Mike Babinski hired me and then now Todd Stansberry's vision of, of a championship level. And it's just not going to happen overnight. There are no quick fixes. There are no shortcuts. And... So as we move forward, Ken, probably being out of the woods, I, I'm not going to be able to use that stuff as we move forward. And, you know, you get to your four, five, and six, you're going to have to make, you know, continue moving, moving the ladder and the, moving up the ladder.